Hani Khan worked behind the scenes in the Hillsdale Hollister store stockroom for four months. She wore a Muslim headscarf called a hijab every day until she was fired for refusing to remove it. Growing up in this country where the Bill of Rights guarantees the freedom of religion, I have felt let down. The Hollister store manager in Hillsdale had no problem with it when Khan was hired for a stockroom job, but four months later a district manager and human resources did. Khan was fired over the phone after refusing to remove her hijab. No worker should have to choose between their religion and a job. The Equal Employment Opportunity Commission filed a discrimination lawsuit against Abercrombie & Fitch, which owns Hollister. The Legal Aid Society is joining that suit, asking for Abercrombie to change its policy and for punitive damages. Legal Aid says Abercrombie violated state and federal civil rights laws. Abercrombie prides itself on requiring what it calls a natural classic American style. But there's nothing American about discriminating against someone because of their religion. Abercrombie released a statement saying, we are committed to providing equal employment opportunities to all individuals, regardless of race, religion, or ethnicity. We comply with the law regarding reasonable religious accommodation. Khan said she's received death threats since her story went public. They came in the form of emails and they were sent directly to the care office and weren't personally sent to me, but they talked about decapitating my head and wrapping it around pigskin and burying it. This is the latest in a series of discrimination suits against Abercrombie and Fitch. A federal class action brought by minority employees and job applicants was settled for $40 million in 2004.